Good day, madam. May I know you? Good morning, sir. Yes. My name is Prophetess Lily Ann Jonah, multiple JP. I have my shop in Alade, old Alade Market, in front of Alade. And my shop name is World Authentic International, Alade Market at Alain Avenue. That is my shop. Prophetess Lily Ann Jonah, multiple JP, World Authentic International, all over the world. Okay, let me start by telling you that you are choosing a part of honor. Being um, a disciple of Jesus Christ. Yes, justice of peace. Yes. Now, let us know what you have in stock for Nigeria. Brandon, all over the world, I'm standing on behalf of Nigeria today because I want the joy of Nigeria. Because I have been in the markets, see what is happening in the street, in anywhere. At least I can see people, what they are going through. I can feel what they are going through. So I want the best, the joy of Nigeria. I want the best, the joy of this Nigeria because I'm in Nigeria. Because America is that they are enjoying. So I want everyone in this Nigeria to, to benefit the blessing of the land. We understand that the Bible says in every nation, anyone that do the will of God will eat the good of the, uh, yes. of the land. But for your own perspective as a child of God, as a prophetess, a prophetess no, what is your advice to Nigeria to tap into that? Um... The brethren, that's why you can, you can look around me today. You can see me, Jesus, all over me. You can look around all over me, Jesus, all over me. My the best thing for Nigeria, the best, because I'm Nigeria. I'm not America. I'm the process of justice. I go around the world to preach the word of God. God said, even God said that when you are in the side of him, you will eat the fruit of the land. What I want everyone on this Nigeria to stand in the God's side, to live the things of the world and be honest wherever you are to do well, use that seat and do it well. Don't let anything to distract you. Money and money, like people today, if I give them a trust, the middle of the hour, they will say, I did not give them money. Today, money has fallen everywhere in the world, but when you are in the side of God, you, you put it aside. Put it aside, money, put it aside. Make sure you start in the truth. But people, if you go to the people are hungry. Cup of rice is how much? We can't see anything. People are hungry. Even you, big man, eating. Do you see what other people are doing outside? What they are they eating outside? You cannot see. They cannot see. That's why today, I want the joy of the nation. I want people to enjoy the blessing of the land. Because Nigeria, we are blessed. Okay, madam, let us now look at, uh, I understand you're educated. Um, uh, the last uh, indices of... Uh, National Bureau of Statistics in Nigeria said that about 133 million Nigerians are some dimensionally poor. And we have a government in place that have uh, come up with some policies. Did less to go into them, but let me just mention to you, removal of fuel subsidy on gasoline and floating on at the official window. And they have seen the economy crashing, our Naira crashing heavily against dollar, and there is serious suffering in Nigeria. My big brother, I'm happy today to be in your midst this morning. I'm blessed. I want to tell nations all over the world, they should calm down. They should just calm down. Causing our president is not the issue. Causing our president is not the issue. That things is already have caught on the sides. But I just want to leave people to know that that president, Ashwadi will make well. He will, he will fulfill his promise. His mandate will be fulfilled. And the mandate of heaven will be fulfilled. Not only we need for you we to bless Ashwadu, let's pray for him so that God will back him up, so that he will do what he is there for. Because he's not there for mouth, he's there to do something for Nigeria to do well. And that's why every day I pray for him, for God to strengthen him, for God to make him to fulfill what he promised for Nigeria. Uh, but let us remember that the Bible says, "Who told that put the trust in man?" Man can fail, but God can never fail. I agree with you. Do you agree with me? Man can fail, but God can never. Fail. I show you hundred percent that He is going to do well. Remember Pharaoh in the Bible, where God said, "Pharaoh, let my people go." Pharaoh refused. Who is that your God? But I pray for President Ashua Jibola made to good today. Jagaban itself, that God will touch the heart. That is only why we have to pray for him, so that God will touch him. 
to fulfill what he promised he would do for his mandate. Okay, on a final note, what is your advice to Nigerian, Nigerians seeing that suffering is biting harder? Wow! What I'm praying for Nigeria, that God is going to do a great thing in Nigeria. I stand as a prophet of God. If I be ordained by Jehovah, then by Almighty God, I promise Nigeria with the tears of my eye that they will enjoy the land of Nigeria. That's my promise. And I have said it all. God Almighty, who chose me in the land today? He chose me in the land. He chose me in the divine. He planned me. I show you that God is going to bless Nigeria. But I can see with my eye. Things are so hard. I can see. But my prayer, they should have faith that God is going to amass Nigeria well. He's going to bless the land. So the advice is that they should have faith. They should stand firm and have faith. God is going to bless Nigeria. They should not be afraid of God. They stand and have faith. God is going to bless Nigeria. I understand why you say they should have faith because the Bible says without faith it's impossible to please God. Yes. They not all look at, don't forget that in any society, you have Christians, you have pagans, you have uh, Muslims, you have different um, uh, kind of people. So that all of them need to benefit from government. Yes. For those who may not be in the same Christian faith with you, what is your advice to them? My big brother, everybody, no matter the trap you are, you are going to benefit in Nigeria. I show you, no matter the trap you are, whether you are a Christian or Muslim, in any trap where you belong to, you are going to benefit in Nigeria. That's what I said. And I stand, the heaven God is hearing me. I'm not here alone, the angel of God is with me. And the God who directs me to say it, we are going to benefit in Nigeria by the special grace of God. So, as a word of uh, rounding up, what is your last word? My last word to tell all the nation, everyone today, all the nation, Nigeria, America, Lagos State, let them serve God. Let them be in the sight of God so that they can see the light of the Lord. That's what I want to say, because Jesus is the only way. It's the only great way. Without Jesus, no way. But with him, all things will be done in Jesus' name. Honestly, the Bible says, with God, nothing shall be impossible. With him, nothing shall be impossible. I must say a very big thank you. Okay. This is Nigerian New Center. Well, look at happens in Nigeria and globally. Amen. Once more, thank you for your time. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Thank God you bless you all.